Hey guys, so today we're checking out the ARE CX Classic Bed Cap with the matte black line X finish, fitting all 2020 and newer Gladiator JTs. So if you are in search of some premium cargo protection, a lot of storage space is going to be covered uh, from the elements to protect all of the cargo inside of your bed. This option by ARE is going to be a great choice. Now this is going to be great for any JT owner who's doing a lot of camping or overlanding and is taking a lot of stuff with them on their trips that they want to keep protected and keep out of the public eye. Now this is also going to be a great solution if you want that coverage but want a little bit more than a tonneau cover has to offer, especially because this does have a lot of vertical storage space. Now this will come with a T-handle on the back making sure that accessibility is very easy. It's also going to have a lock making sure that you have a little bit of extra security for some peace of mind and it is going to be fully weather sealed to make sure that nothing is going to get inside the bed cap and harm anything that you have inside of your bed. Now when it comes to the construction, this will be made of a polyester resin fiberglass laminate material being very strong and able to hold up, especially if you're taking your gladiator out on the trail. Now speaking of that, this will definitely be able to resist any surface damage from any branches or brush considering the matte black line X finish here. Uh, that's going to be very durable. And I also like the fact that it's going to add a nice color uh, breakup or contrast, especially if you have a colored gladiator. Now with this, you're also going to have a front picture window for full visibility and you're going to get some tinted windows for a little bit of extra style. They're also going to have some screen half slider windows on either side, making sure that you can add a little bit of ventilation uh, to the inside of the bed cap and still have some protection with that screen there. Not to mention you are able to build off of this bed cap. It does come with rails on the top. So if you'd like to add a roof rack for a little bit of additional storage outside of the Gladiator, you can definitely do so. And you can also add a toolbox to this, kind of customizing it to your personal preference. Now with all that being said, this is going to come in at a premium price point at roughly three thousand dollars but I definitely think that it's worth that for all of the features and benefits that you're getting out of this bed cap. Now in comparison to some other solutions available on the site I do really like the fact that this is going to offer you that vertical storage in comparison to a tonneau cover that will kind of give you the same benefits as far as cargo protection but you're going to get a lot more space with a bed cap like this. Not to mention some other bed cap options may be made of a soft top material as uh, so where this again is going to be fiberglass, giving you a little bit more security for that peace of mind that I mentioned. So I personally think if you have the couple extra bucks to spend, if you like that bed cap look, this option by ARE is going to be right up your alley. Now when it comes to install, I am going to give this a light two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It is pretty straightforward, but you will have to do a little bit of wiring when it comes to the interior lights on this. And I would also recommend an extra set of hands in order to get this mounted up to the back of the Gladiator. However, one of our installers here is going to show you how to get that done step by step. So that wraps it up for my review. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Tools used for today's install, uh, ratchet, four millimeter Allen, 14 millimeter socket, pair of crimpers, diagonal cutters, wire strippers, trim removal tool, zip ties, spade connector, and a vampire clip. What's up guys? I'm gonna be going over the installation process for your ARE bed cap for your Jeep Gladiator. Let's get started. So for the first step in this procedure is we're gonna to have to flip our bed cap over and apply our mounting tape to the rails. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that we've flipped ours over, we have cleaned ours already with some denatured alcohol. You just wanna make sure that there's no dust or debris because this is gonna have a tough time sticking. Um, also, while we're doing this, it's better to overlap. You don't, you don't want any gaps in between the tape. We're gonna start from down here and work our way up. And I'm gonna lift it and cut it. Be careful not to cut the carbon fiber. Right. And we're just going to continue repeating the same process.
Okay, and now would be a good time if you did miss any spots or you're concerned about water possibly getting in, you can kind of go up a little further or shape it to the inside there. For demonstrational purposes, we're not going to do that, um, but we're going to go on to the next step now. All right, so now's the time we're going to take our cap and put it onto the vehicle. Uh, I got an extra set of hands. I highly advise you to do the same. We're going to head and lift it and just place it down lightly. All right, so now that we've got our cap on our vehicle, we centered ours. Uh, now that it's centered, it's time to put our clamps on. They're gonna go just like this. This is gonna go underneath. This will be on top, and it's a 14 millimeter bolt on top. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing these now. All right, so the clamp is gonna go on just like this. Again, that T facing up. And we're gonna slowly tighten this. And for demonstrational purposes, uh, I'm not gonna go crazy tight with this, um, but you may wanna go a little tighter. Okay, we're gonna move up on the vehicle. All right, and then you are gonna repeat this process on the other side. Now that we have our bed cap installed, we got our wiring harness here. I'm gonna show you how to install that right now. All right guys, so for this step, we're gonna create our harness uh, with the supplied wiring kit. Uh, we are going to get our pin connectors. And just about that much trimmed back should do. I'm just gonna insert it just like that. You're gonna put your finger over it. I'm just going to give it a light tug, but it should look something just like that. We're going to go ahead and do the other side now. Again, light pull. All right, so now that our uh, terminal connectors are connected to our wire securely, we are going to get our red and black wire, which is our power wire, and we're going to insert it into A. And you'll know if you got it in correctly, if it clips and does not pull out. They do go in one way. There we go, it was A. And then with our ground, we're going to B same way. All right, so if your pins are incorrectly, it'll look something just like that. You should be able to see the metal. We're gonna get the other end of the harness. Again, A and B are matching, and we're gonna go ahead and connect this. And you wanna hear that variable click. All right, now, so we're gonna get our wire and kind of tuck it underneath. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of ways you guys can do this, but we're gonna do it this way. And once we get that up in there, Let 
try it from the back. Okay, there we go. Now we got that tucked. We're gonna get the other end of the harness. We found a bolt. We're gonna mount it right into the bed. This is our ground. All right, and now after you have all this done, we're gonna work on running this wire underneath um, and finding our source of power. All right, so we found a good access point right there, and we're gonna run our harness straight down. So now that we have our wire ran down, because we're gonna be tapping into another uh, source of power, I did wanna point out there that you could also tap into your bed lights uh, also, we're just doing it this way. I just wanted to give you that option. All right, we're just gonna zip tie all this extra wiring so that way it's kind of a little bit more organized. Also, will make the appearance better, so. All right, so now this is the other end of the harness that we fished through. This connector is for the battery, obviously. We have already tapped into a power source underneath of the vehicle, so we're gonna cut, remove that, and put a, what's called a spade connector on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm just gonna cut this off. All right, we have our wire stripper tool. We're gonna strip a little bit more back. You want to give that just a light pull, make sure it's nice and tight. Now's a good time to trim your wire if you do have too much excess um, and you're going to want to secure it to anything where there's going to be no heat or pinch points. And we are going to get our spade connector and splice into our power source on our tow, um, our lighting and tow harness. And we are going on to the power. Go. Okay, and then obviously you could kind of just tuck this out of the way and secure it with any zip ties if you would like. And uh, just a pro tip out there, if you're unsure of where your constant power is, you could always use a test light or a multimeter. So that'll wrap up this review and install the ARE CX Plastic Bed Cap in matte black, fitting your 2020 to current Gladiator JTs. Thanks for watching, and for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.